Ave everyone, it's 1652 on June 2nd, 2015. I just got back from a job interview at the Walmart here in Rapid City. It's thunderstorming, you can probably hear the rain in the background, or on occasion the hail, as there have been hail sighted in this area. A couple by myself, though they are only slight this big quarter inch or so, though the alert says for the next 15 minutes we need to be on the lookout for half dollar sized hail, which is kind of mind boggling considering it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but that's weather. I haven't quite gotten a job yet, though this Walmart thing is looking pretty good, and I also have an interview with UPS tomorrow, but I'm certain that by the next weekly update, and probably by the end of this week, I will be working at one or both of those places. It's a difficult decision to make, because Walmart is only paying $9.50 and UPS pays $11.50 per hour, but this is the slow season for local package deliveries, so the lady who I talked to on the phone at UPS said I'll probably only be starting at around 15 hours a week, whereas at Walmart I'll be getting 30 to 35 straight away. But once holiday shipping season begins in late August slash November, I'll be working good amounts of hours at the UPS, making much more money if I were to take that job. So although Walmart has the benefit up front, once I'm actually in school, UPS would seem to be better on the monetary side of things. But on the other other hand, UPS package lifter is a very physically demanding and hard job, whereas Walmart grocery stalker is much easier. And I've worked for Walmart before, so I kind of know the procedures and company, and I know that they are very accommodating and easy to work with as far as accommodating various schedules go, so there's that. But then on the fourth hand, since they are so accommodating, I could probably work it to where I work both jobs. UPS weekday evenings and Walmart on the weekends and the mornings during the summer, as well as all those days that I won't be working at UPS at first, according to the lady. Then once package season picks up, I cut back hours at the Walmart and work at the UPS more closer to full time. And that is hands down the most amount of money possible to make under my current situation, but I have the difficulty of trying to coordinate my Walmart schedule around both UPS and my classes once they start in August, and the fact that I'll be working two jobs, one of them very physically demanding during the highest throws of the school season with very little to no time off at UPS. You get six holidays a year and weekends. That's it. No special accommodations, or at least that's what the lady made it sound like. So that's not fun. But again, UPS has many more and better benefits for their workers as opposed to Walmart. So I have a lot of thinking to do. Other than job hunting, I haven't really been doing much. Just staying here, cleaning the RV. Look at all the progress that I've made reading books and watching YouTube slash Netflix when the internet permits. And from the looks of things, it shall be the same going forward, only adding a job into that mix. That is until late July when I need to start getting a few more things prepared for school. So I'll get back to all y'all next week with another update and what I decide. Now that that is my schedule, I should be able to be more regular with these things, though I'm not going to commit to a certain day of the week yet until I get at least one of these jobs. V out.